Hey guys, and welcome back to Countdown Vampire. Now, things are looking a little bit different here. Um, I don't know if you can tell, or how well you can tell on uh, YouTube, but I can really tell the difference. I've switched over to a new emulator. I'm using the new um, Duck Station PlayStation emulator, and holy shit! EPXE is really good. It's very old and it hasn't been updated in like five years, but it's brilliant and it's stable. And uh, in the Discord uh, yesterday, uh, a friend of mine told me that there's a new PlayStation uh, 1 emulator called Duck Station and it's really fucking good and has loads of bells and whistles, really nice front end, blah, 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 blah. He said it was better than EPXE. And I was like, hmm, I don't know if I believe that because EPXE is very good. I was like, eh, it's probably just as good. I spent a few minutes with it and let's just say this has become my main de facto emulator. We have loads of bells and whistles checked. We've got the internal upscaler right up. We have MSAA on and there's even a really nice plugin that fixes all of the texture warpings that we used to get on PlayStation 1 games and it looks freaking incredible. Also, as a side uh, bonus to this emulator, remember how hard I said it was to read text? I can now read text. <laughs> like right okay I'm pretty sure I got us back to where we were, we were. Um, and uh, yeah things have been a little bit different going back through the game a second time we have uh, lots more well probably about the same ammo maybe a little bit more ammo I've discovered some tricks through playing the game again now the biggest difference is health items Holy shit, we have a lot of health items. And during, during lots of testing, I did spend probably way too long whilst I was rendering videos uh, gambling on the machines. Uh, my cat is up. Oh, why did you do this to me? Why did you do this to me? No, you're on my keyboard. Great. I don't know what you did. You changed the resolution scale. Thanks, cat. So, I have no idea what my uh, cat has just run across on my emulator. He's just literally run straight across my keyboard. So, I'll just show you a little bit of the front end a minute. Uh, yeah. Also, when you exit a game, um, it gives you the option to auto-save a state where you, where you leave it. Which is really bloody nice. So... If you stop playing a game and you pick it up the next day without having to load memory cards or manually load save states, yeah, I know what, what a terrible world we live in. It actually does all that automatically. It's really, really nice. So anyway, let's just, uh, what do we want? Yeah, there's also a, a plugin here for achievements, but I haven't really played with that. Post processing is what we want, is it? We want bloody cat. Right. So we are on that. By linear filtering. There's lots of different ways to filter the graphics, but personally, I think by linear looks the nicest. Uh, there are more aggressive filters, but they just make the game kind of look like a cartoon. Anyway, and then we just click resume, and here we are. We're back. Lovely. Absolutely amazing emulator. Uh, yeah, so the main difference uh, of going back through this game is I think I've used two health items. And I gambled us up six or thousand money, which took an obscene amount of time. But that's what I've done. Anyway, let's continue. Right, we need disc B. Now this is pretty much where we are. So once we've put disc B in here and we'll have disc c and i guess disc d 
I don't know where we put these discs. Oh. Uh, is one, two, three. Right. Okay, so we need to put in another password. The last password was Sun. Uh, I don't know what this password's gonna be. Shit. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, and again, you're not gonna see it on, um, on the YouTube, uh, with all this compression and stuff. But this game looks so crispy. It's unreal. Right. Okay, so... We can still only use th three words. Let... Right. So I was wondering, because we're in this moon area. Uh, moon shapes. Just looking at the real thing. Okay. Uh, and yeah, the, the inventory and everything just looks so much better. Look how much... Oh, I don't know if you could really tell the difference on the YouTube video, but this is so much more readable. Oh my god, right. Okay, movie flyer. Have a look. Right, because we did sun. Ah... Uh... I don't know though because announcement of a point of police badge invitation uh, the prophecy maybe what does this tell us? But well, that was prophecy by Dustin Birth of the Beast chapters one. Uh huh. Okay. What sense can we actually make with those letters? Let's put card in. I hate the way that you have to put the card in every time. Uh, yeah, so after playing back through this game again, I'm enjoying it. I really am. I did a lot... So it's not sun again. Is it day? Um, yeah, I have to say I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've done quite a lot better with the dart gun. Uh, we must have been missing an awful lot of shots. No, so it's not sun and it's not day. What could it be, though? Ugh, come on. What could it possibly be? We did pick up the prophecy book, but whatever it is, it needs to be three letters. Try mun. Mun. For Monday? Sunday mun, yeah, okay. Makes sense, kind of. Right, so we've got card disc. C and D. Uh, right, C and D. I don't know where we use those. Do we have to take them back up to... Yeah, maybe we have to take them back up, actually. Uh, to the control room and put them back in there. Is that what we have to do? I don't know. But if I can go past the save um, box station thing... I can show you all the health that we have, and holy shit, <laughs> like, we've got so much. I think I've used a couple of drinks. That's it. All right, let's go back up and see if we can put um, C and D back up here. I got a feeling that's not what we need to do, but 
Uh, I'm kind of running out of options here. Very tempted to drink that drink as well, so we can move a little bit faster. And now, out of all the enemies we've encountered so far, which are the weird zombie vampire things, uh, the werewolves, and the weird bug men, I have got to say, without a shadow of a doubt, the hardest enemies in this game are the vampires. Oh, also, you can set it up to use a fresh save, uh, fresh memory card for every game as well. So every game gets its own memory card. Oh, right, look at, get a load of this. So we've got the Kino ticks. Still don't know what to do with that. Right, uh, let's put that back. So we have a full bottle here. These food items are full hills. We have one, two, three, four, five. Got an empty bottle. Got two drinks. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Now, the other uh, thing that I did find that we can do, and I found this out by accident, right, is you can actually use your 9mm handgun. I, I literally just found this out, like, not that long ago. If I'd known about this really early on in the game, we could have saved a lot more ammo for our uh, stun gun. You can soften the uh, zombies, well, the vampires up by using your handgun. And when they fall over, you can finish them off with the stun gun. That still works. You could weaken them with the pistol. Oh my god. God, I wish I'd known about that. I didn't even think about trying it, to be honest. Oh, okay. So that's just going to give us that again. Oh. Oh, even... Okay, it actually tells you what to do if you go back here. Uh, power has been supplied to the attractions area. Set cards, disc C and D. When... This card C and D is set. Power we supplied to the fear moon. Right, okay, okay. It actually does. Fair enough. Tells us right there what we need to do. Alright, well, I mean, I guess we're going back to the fear moon area. Cool. You could also, like, overclock the CPU and stuff like that on the simulator. Uh, I haven't tried that because it does say um, that it can cause a lot of issues. Now, You'll notice on our character, as I rotate our character Keith here, that his pixels and his um, geometry and stuff is, is not warping and you're not getting like parts of his body disappear and stuff like that. That's such a cool plugin for this emulator. It's really freaking cool. I, I love EPXE. And if you're into your PlayStation 2 emulation, EPXE is brilliant it's an amazing emulator it works on everything even your toaster and um, you get really good performance but this this definitely takes it to the next step now epxe hasn't been updated for over five years uh it's i guess it's a dead project now but you know it's been worked on to the point where it's flawless this is brand new em uh, a brand new emulator that's already competing with epxe and it is still being actively updated in fact there's from what i can understand there's updates coming for this like every day and even in the software has a check for updates option holy crap guys I never thought we'd see a brand new emulator for a PlayStation 1 game, but, you know, here we are, I guess. Right, anyway, uh, so we need to go back to that weird windy corridor. Oh. We need to go back up and over. Uh, also, as it, uh, we killed a few of those vampires um, when we were playing this together in our, quote, first run. I think there was one situation in the projector room where I actually used a shotgun to take out a load of uh, vampires because it's all I had. Uh, and that is what I noticed that it blew, it killed one and it knocked two over. And then I used my dart gun to finish off the last, two, it might have been one or the last two. And I noticed they went down really quick. 
after shooting them with a the shotgun, like within a couple of shots. <laughs> it's just like, you know when you have an epiphany? Like the light bulb dings on in your head. Man, softening them up with the handgun is the way to go because we have so much handgun bullets. Or so many, I should say. We have r ridiculous amounts of handgun bullets. Okay. So, which is it going to tell us? Ah. Uh, I don't know what that means. Can't put them in there. Okay. Well, that's a gigantic pain. Have I actually... Ugh, I might have done... I might actually still have needed to put them up there. Maybe. Uh, shit. Let's drink the bottle. Get our maximum running speed back. You can't go back through this door. Oh, I hate the fact that you've got to go right around the houses. Ah, oh, this bit is so annoying. But at least we can run at full speed again. Yeah, so barely used any healing items at all. It's kind of silly. The only, as I said, the only enemies that have posed any kind of threat to me and the only enemies that have actually landed a single hit on me um, are the vampires. And I did significantly better against them second time round. As probably down to the fact that I'm a lot um, better with the dart gun. Like, a lot better. Now, in here, that woman, uh, that metal-headed woman, uh, I did take her out. She did get a couple of swipes on me. Yeah, it was in here when you get charged by, like, four of them. And I just had the, uh, like, stun gun. I was like, oh, bollocks. So I whipped out the shotgun, blasted them. And I think it killed two, but it knocked them all over. Uh, and I, yeah. <laughs> I noticed that the other guys went down. When I switched back to the stun gun, they went down in, like, one or two shots. I thought they were going to die anyway because I'd already shot them with a gun. Uh, but no. <laughs> no, they did not. I was like, I don't believe this. You can save so much ammo. Now, here's the thing. Later on in the game, I don't know how much we're really going to need the bullets. I don't know if we're going to stop finding piles and piles and piles of handgun bullets. I don't know. So, yeah, that, that's also a thing that we might come up against. Right, let's go back. Now, if this isn't what we're meant to be doing, I don't know. I'm out of ideas. Which one was the control room? Yeah, it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. Also, this map is quite a lot clearer as well. It's like pin sharp, which is nice. Right, okay. Um... Okay, I'm a... Oh, God. So if I can't use these here and put them in the machine... Because I do have the key, but it seems like we need two keys. The spear keys. Really weird, because my brother's um, husky is called spear. Um, you know. So... Let's go back through here. Back into the bloody control room. Kind of is the problem of playing a game blind. Also, it, it really didn't take me that long to get back to this, uh, you know, this bit here. Catch us back up. It really didn't take that long. So, can I now put C and D in here? Oh, seriously? Seriously, game? I guess we can. That still is red. That's still red. Ah. Oh. Power has been supplied to the fear moon. Right. That's the elevator and all that we couldn't get to before. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, we're in business, Milados. I've still got that like power modulation area thing. I uh, don't know what this does. Some kind of power meter, but there's no power, so it's not working. Right, so we still can't fiddle with that, which is fine. So now we can go back to Fear Moon. Because there was that one uh, door that we couldn't get through, because it's like, there is no power. Need to be on our toes now, because I'm guessing enemies have respawned. So we're going to drop a save. Just for security. Don't know if you get penalized for how many saves you've had in this game. I have literally no idea. As I said, we're not rank running. If there even is ranks at the end of this, I'm going to assume there might be. There has to be a reason that you have the choice to save enemies. Uh, or kill them. There has to be a reason for that. But apart from that, maybe it's done on time and like how many healing items you use. I don't know. Uh, to be honest, no idea. Looks like we're clear. This is a horrible area. No, we're still clear. There's no way. No bloody way. No bloody way at all. The enemies haven't respawned. I'm not buying it, Jack. I'm guessing these um, vending machines don't resupply either. Right. I don't get that. Like, they literally have one of each item in. It... Hmm. Makes me wonder, like, why I've uh, spent the time grinding out all that money. Because, uh, I mean, it looks like it's a waste of time, to be honest. Unless we're nowhere near. Oh. You again. Gels is waiting for that woman. Gels. Gels? Misato mentioned that name. The final whore. Uh huh. Huh? Gone again? <laughs> Who is that guy? The resident Houdini. Okay, so Gels is someone that wants the girl. And she actually mentioned his name uh, in the last video, I think. Oh, fuck. Okay, right. Demonstration here. Let's put a few bullets into his face. There we go. Right. Oh god, this is awful. Okay, this is bad. Right, he's down. Now he's twitching. Yeah, they're both twitching. No, nope, he's not. Right, that was a bad example there. Really bad example. I bet we're really injured too. Oh shit, we are. That was an awful example. Uh, right. Let's go get a health item. That's two more we've saved. I've definitely killed one. I, I think it's two of these guys. Not 100%. Oh, really? That's a problem. Shit. Yep. Yep. This is... My God. How many of them is there? Oh my word. They've spawned them everywhere. Oof. Yeah, so even being like proper careful. 
And I do mean proper careful. Um, the trouble is, we haven't really wasted that many bullets. Let's get some items out. Oh my god, right, that's a full hill right there. Oof. That's, that's rough. That's really rough. Yeah. Also, these are the hunched over vampires. Now, uh, if you notice, there's two types of vampires. There's the ones that stumble around like zombies, right? And then there's these ones that are kind of like hunched over. Uh, the difference is the ones that are hunched over are a lot faster, a lot more aggressive. Uh, I don't know if they take more more shots to bring down. I haven't noticed that, but they're a pain in the ass. Yes, the uh, the ones that are stall and uh, stall, tall and standing, kind of like humble over to you, like shamble like zombies. These things really are quite spry. You again. You again? Gels is waiting yeah, for yeah, that yeah, woman. Yeah. Gels? Misato mentioned that name. The final horse. Seriously, can't skip this. Alright, come on. Time is money, boys! Gone again? <laughs> Who Gone is that guy? again? Who'd have thunked it? Right, so we can't come back here because... As soon as we come back here, this place gets absolutely loaded. Okay. We need to use the handgun. Yeah. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So now they're weakened. We should... As you see, they take significantly less to put down. And as I said significantly less, they still take a good chunk. And look how much damage those guys did. Oh, we've got four left. That's not good. Right, let's drop her down. She's going to get straight back up. Oh, no. She's dead. Okay, so you can only really drop them once. Which is a bit of an ass. Is this restocked? No. No. So, okay. Well, I mean, I guess they never, ever restock, which is a pain in the dick. Ah, oh, these grubnoids are going to be everywhere, aren't they? Alice. Shit. All right. Well, they're not here, which is nice. Where was the save room? There isn't one here. Okay. Yeah, because the save room with the white dots. And the white dots are so much easier to see now. Like, I'm not even kidding, guys. They're so much easier to see. Okay. We're basically out of time now, anyway. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, we're on half an hour, but let's go up here and have a look. Right. Okay, now, let's see if I can drop at least one of these. Oh, she's down with one. Good. And so is he. You see? You see the... Oh, God, here we go, here we go. You see the difference that makes? It's pretty freaking big. Can you die, please? 
Right. Alright. We're in a bad way. And so is our... Oh, there's another one. Right, that's it. That's all she wrote for the stun gun. Uh, okay. Now, I don't know if we shoot these guys and then leave uh, the area. I don't know if they regen their health. I don't think they do. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. We're making progress. We have a new emulator, which is absolutely fucking bitching. Uh, and I'm really happy. It's like getting a new console again. It's like, oh my god, this emulator that you've used for the last decade uh, is now gone and you have something not even different, but quite a bit better. Now, you know, this is the first time I've actually used it, really. This is the only game I've actually used it on. Whereas on EPXE, I've played hundreds of games over the years on different hardware. We'll see. But this game is in active development. Uh, this game, this emulator is in active development. So hopefully, you know, Things are going to come on, keep improving, but we will see. Anyway, thank you very much, guys, and as always, till next time.